Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to talk about uh, the brand value chain. Uh, so just before we get into the actual uh, model itself, let's just talk a little bit about the context. So um, particularly over the last sort of five to ten years, marketing has been increasingly trying to bring itself into more of, of an, of an evidence-based approach. Uh, and so it's looking for evidence, uh, often quantitative evidence, uh, to support the link between investments in marketing and actual uh, business benefits. So they're trying to sort of show the link between um, what marketing people are actually doing and, and uh, the programs that they're developing and actually the bottom line on the business because clearly the more we can make that link, the more we can show the evidence between uh, marketing investment or spend um, on marketing and actually business benefit, then we know exactly um, how much to invest in the business. And it might be that uh, uh, more investment uh, uh, in the marketing effort could lead to uh, uh, a, a much bigger uh, benefit in terms of profitability of the business but obviously unless we can evidence that link then we just don't know so there's been a move to an integrated approach to uh, marketing through the notion of marketing analytics particularly um, so uh, we, we introduced this notion of uh, the brand value chain so uh, how brand equity is created okay so and, and really trying to trace the process of value creation. Uh, and so over time, companies are looking to develop some kind of a measurement system. Uh, so developing a set of research procedures to understand sources and outcomes of brand equity. Uh, what consumers know and feel about the brand and how they react and how that you know influences the actual bottom line profitability of the business. Um, so um, introduced by Keller, um, if you want to have a look uh, at the book Strategic Brand Management uh, 2013, um, you know you, you can look at this in more detail. But here's the actual model itself. So we can see that uh, value according to the model occurs through four basic stages. So clearly um, with any marketing, um, we start with some kind of marketing campaign, uh, and obviously that's an investment. That's an investment in 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 people's time. Obviously, uh, it requires human resources. You know, we might um, be spending money collecting data, going out and doing things. So there's there's an investment in in the marketing campaign, uh, and that's going to relate to. Obviously, the, the basics of um, marketing, so product, communications, trade, employee, other. Um, so marketing people, you know, are, are very familiar with, with what that means in practice. And clearly, the, 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 the reason that we do that, the reason that we invest in marketing is because we want to influence customer mindset. OK, so. You know, the role of marketing has always been about trying to influence the customer, you know, understanding the customer, uh, getting to know them, understanding what they want, how to influence behavior of customers. And, and that's the really holy grail of, of marketing. And, and marketing people have got really, really good at that. And, and it's, it's obviously why they are highly valued within, within a business. Um, so things like awareness, uh, associations, attitudes, uh, attachment, and also obviously clearly activity. You know, at the end of the day, we want people to actually go out and, and purchase our products. Uh, we want people to to value our brand. You know, we want people to, to, to become uh, attached to our brand. And, and obviously that, that's the fundamental um, logic of business. Now, where, you know... Uh, we're sort of going into new ground, if you like, is trying to explore the link between that customer mindset and market performance and trying to understand that better. So this is where the marketing function actually contextualizes itself within the, the, the wider business. You know, so 
you know, how, you know, what is the link between customer mindset and market performance? Can we understand that? Can we collect evidence of that? So, you know, price premiums, price elasticities, uh, market share, uh, expansion success, cost structure, profitability. So these are traditionally um, uh, subject areas which would be um, the, the sole interest of, of business managers and strategic management. So what we're saying here is, no, you know, we want to make some kind of link, uh, quantitative uh, link that we can evidence between customer mindset and, and market performance. And of course, market performance leads to, you know, the, the ultimate bottom line, which is shareholder value. So things like um, stock price, uh, profit earnings ratio, market capitalization, those sorts of, you know, basic uh, performance metrics of the business overall. So if we can link all of those things together in the chain, and we can understand and evidence those links, then we've got a much better um, uh, evidential understanding of how marketing investments directly influence uh, shareholder value. Uh, and then, um, you know, marketing managers, marketing directors, you know, c can, can say, look, you know, here's the evidence uh, for the value of the investment in, in marketing. And of course, you know, it reduces the notion of guesswork because, you know, for some businesses, you know, um, the investment in marketing is is not um, as important as for other businesses. But for some businesses, uh, the investment in marketing is hugely critical, uh, and and you know, we really need to understand that link. Now, uh, as part of that chain, uh, as as part of the development of that model. Um, the authors introduced this notion of multipliers. So it's basically saying, you know, what you know, understanding how that that chain operates in practice more, and, and what we can do to sort of uh, multiply uh, or understand better, you know, how that value chain is operating. So things like campaign quality, so clarity, relevance, distinctiveness, consistency, will 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 affect uh, the, the, the way that ma the marketing campaign investment affects customer mindset. Now, of course, that, that's fairly clear. I think marketing people have understood that uh, for, for many years. But al also, we also need to introduce this notion of market conditions. So competitive reactions, channel support, uh, customer size and profile. Clearly, those contextual elements will have, will impact uh, the relationship between customer mindset and market performance. So it's important that uh, our, our understanding of the links in these chains are not too simplistic. Okay, so, you know, if, if we're not getting the market performance uh, from our investment in marketing, um, and, and we feel that we are affecting customer mindset, but we're not getting the performance that we want, then it might be something to do with market conditions. And it's important that we understand those because uh, otherwise our, our interpretation of the data could, could be misleading. And then also the link between market performance and shareholder value uh, is going to be influenced by investor sentiment. So market dynamics, growth potential, risk profile, brand contribution. Okay, so these are all um, obviously uh, financial considerations that we need to take account. So, you know, it, it, it's just reminding us that um, marketing people are obviously going to be needing to interact with, you know, the, those individuals in the business who are um, responsible for strategic management because clearly market performance and shareholder value is central to their concern. But what we're trying to do is link all these things together. Okay, so we get this this integrated approach to to marketing, uh, and that's one of the, the the areas where marketing analytics is really trying to play a role. Uh, obviously, it, it's relatively early days uh, for many businesses in terms of the link between marketing 
um, marketing analytics and and basic business performance but but that's the space that we're moving into okay I hope you found that useful